next step we're going to do is create our background for our app as you can see this comes with a templated your app background so in order to do that right here I can download a template so if you have Photoshop on your computer there's a PSD file and if you don't have Photoshop but you have some other type of editing software you can download a PNG file of what the background looks like I'm gonna do it through Photoshop so let's take a look at what that looks like so once I click that it has downloaded the file here and it's opening up Photoshop on my computer and here goes the file as it's open so it has many different lines to tell you what's going to be safe in portrait mode in landscape mode for the iPhone for iPad okay that's what all these lines represent so all we need to do is simply drag and drop and I think in my computer I have several different images here that I can use I think I've used this one before and you can drag and drop an image on to Photoshop okay so now I have an image it's very simple you could simply Google uh, barber background image or whatever it is that you want your background to be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize this so that it fits perfectly in here so I'm gonna stretch this out to the corner stretch this out to the other corner go in here there you go now I have a background for my app that's going to fit and my razors are kind of showing as you can see these lines here are showing me that it's going to be visible in the iPhone in port portrait mode so I'm going to go ahead and hit return and then I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to save it on my desktop as background make sure I choose the format to be a PNG we don't want it to be a PSD another Photoshop file and I'm gonna go ahead and save that I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and that is being saved and it is done saving let's go back to effectsapps.com now I'm going to upload that image which is downloaded from effectsapps.com edited in Photoshop and now is being uploaded right into the platform so once your background is uploaded you're just simply gonna hit OK so now we have our background for our app so right below the background it says use the home page image which is this background for all features I like to check that off as well because what that's gonna do is no matter what feature we add they're all gonna have this background